and we are today in Bristol. There we go, Bristol. And we are going down to Edenmouth Docks. So yeah, last dock audit we did was Newport and we had that bloke saying, do you want me to ring the police? It's illegal to film the docks. And we want to see what the response is at Bristol. So you've got the Bristol Port Company, private property. Action will be taken against trespassers. I can already see people looking. We're not even at the docks yet, this is just the dock office. So, yeah, I was walking through Avermouth. And there's the chip coat, mate. You can see him looking at my coat. With a wide open gate there. Implies right of access to Andrew's house. Just off, just off St Andrew's Road, in either mate. Slave trade with Edward Colston and the slave traders back in the day bringing slaves over to Britain. But to be fair, they paved, even though it was tragic and it was awful what happened, it paved the way for what, for the, well, I say equality, not much, still not much equality when it comes to authority, but with members of the public, you know. And here's the signal box, guys. So yes, this is even my thoughts. So yeah, past them red gates. Here's even my dock property, which they've got their own laws. If you're on dock property, they've got their own laws on filming and things like that. So you, obviously. You'd have to seek permission if you were to pass those gates there, that red fence line. That's the colour, the colour of the Bristol Port Authority, which the red, the red fence, and you've got the uh, signals here. So they'll have a crossing as well, where they've got the uh, railway. Obviously, you've got loads of lorries coming out as well. So busy though, look at that. This is docks. Yeah. The docks are, there always seem to be vehicles going in and out the docks all the time. The the docks. <laughs> so the main train's coming? I want to see a train passing. Yeah, they've got loads of working plants and things like that. Down the docks. And you always got these little checkpoints like that, these little uh, security booths on the dock property. There we go. Oh, there you must. Yeah, bombed the Red Bull today, guys. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so not the best frame for doing this. But we were, we were allowed to go down the docks. I didn't know you were allowed to get in the docks, mate. So Uber actually go down the docks. Uber can go down the docks. So I've got the other side as well, closer to the signal box. See so if we can cross over. Cross over. Guys, got the uh, level crossing signs. There's the railway down there as well. Railway lines. I haven't seen the train pass yet though. So we have to wait for that one. As you can see there's Dr. Crossy down there guys. I'm turning in that way. I think because of the red fencing, I'm assuming that's Dock property as well. So yeah, Port Bristol Port Company.
That's a Bristol Port Company van. The Port of Bristol, we've got the own police as well. It's privately owned by the, uh, by the Port Authority. Privately owned police force. I'm not sure if we'll see that them lot today. Another taxi coming in. How many taxis come down these docks? Jeez. I haven't seen so many taxis going down the dock. Oh, hello. Hi, can I help you? Uh, no, uh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm wondering why you're recording outside of the port. Just out of interest, really. Matters of public interest. Okay, for, for what particular interest? I'd, I'd appreciate if you didn't approach me from behind as well. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I was just walking from here and you were facing that way, that's all. I'm interested okay. to know what you're up to filming in our port. Just interested, really. You know this is a security area? Yeah, I'm not on the port property though, here. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah, because it's publicly accessible. It is true, but this is, this is port land here. This comes under, this comes under Avermouth, this I part of Avermouth Village, this, this area. Port land. You think? Port land here, yeah. This is Portland here. Well, if, it, if I could, if there's any way I could see the land registry, then I'd know them, wouldn't yeah, I? Because this, exactly. is, this looks publicly Can accessible. Name, please? I'm not willing to give you any of my details, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm just going to take a photo of you, if that's all right. That's fine. Okay. My name's Stephen Burt. I'm the Deputy okay. Harbour Master of the Bristol Port. You're the Harbour Master. So I'm interested okay. in to know what's going on. Sure. From a security perspective, obviously. Okay. Uh, are you intending to stay here for a long time? Just a little bit. I, I saw that, I saw the giant crane moving as well, so that, that was quite interesting to Sorry? see to see all the all the moving all the moving machinery, all the all the working parts of the docks as well. It's quite interesting. I was hoping to see a train pass through as oh, well. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so sure. That'd be quite interesting. Is this for a project of yours or something? Just for my interest, really. Just so I can post normally post it online, really. So. Right. Which okay. is, and there's that signal box there that, that, yeah, that yeah, caught yeah. my interest as well. Okay. Right. 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 That's all right, okay. so it's Listen, just any of that. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very Make sure welcome. you're keeping safe as well because yeah, some of these yeah, I'm, not I'm staying behind. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from this to be fair. So. Oh, yeah, no okay. worries. I, I can look out for myself. Right. It's okay. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you. Right. I knew I'd get approached, guys. Quite interesting. There's loads of vehicles because he's going back to his vehicle there. That's his vehicle. So we've got Avonmouth Village down there. We might have a walk into Avonmouth Village in a minute. I was hoping to see a train pass through. I don't see that happening to be fair. Um, yeah, you've got a wind turbine down there as well. Hmm. 
Traffic's gotten a bit clogged up going to the docks, hasn't it? Where's the trains? I think I'd see one now, wouldn't you? Haven't been a single train pass through. That's the uh, signal to get in there, guys. I'm just hoping I'll see a freight train going through, but I don't think we're going to catch one today. On the docks. Obviously they've got to stay behind that line there, because it's level crossing. Could potentially be a train coming through, although I haven't seen one yet. And I've been here for 20 minutes, I haven't seen a single train. So yeah, he's still there as well, the docks guy, he's still there, look. That's the Port Authority, the Harbour, Deputy Harbour Master. He's He's on the phone to someone. I think he's on the phone to the Bristol Port Police. Got a feeling. Seems to be a bit of a hold up though. Don't know what's going on. So. Just be prepared really. That's Welsh, Welsh vehicle. The Welsh company. I think that's Port, that's Portland. There's a sign there. That's Portland there, and there's gates there. So how is this Portland? This isn't Port property. That's Port property. Guys, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't think he knows what he's on about. To be honest, he, he might be the deputy having us, but I don't think he knows. He's under the impression that this is Port Proxy, despite there being public footpaths and the fence line being there. Oh, Port of Bristol Police, I think. There's a port vehicle down the end, there. Eh? Yeah, I don't see anyone coming in. I don't see any security vehicles come out or anything. He's the only one. Deputy Harbour Master is the only guy who's come out. So, Stephen, I said his name was, so there he is over there, look, hey Stephen, hey Stephen over there, Deputy Harbour Master, he's still over there, I don't know who he's waiting for, another port authority here for him, another support company vehicle, Yeah, I don't know whether he's phoned the uh, Bristol Bristol Port Port Police, the Port of Bristol Police. To be fair, they are they're privately owned as well. One of the only one of a few privately owned police forces in the country. Because uh, you've got the, like the Cathedral Constables, you've got um, I think they've got the Parks Police in London as well. So there's a few different private police forces, and Bristol's one of the places that's got a Port Police. You've got you've got Belfast as well. Another gentleman coming out here, I'll, I'll let him pass. Oh, after you, mate. Hey, just making a little video of the, of the docks, that's all I'm doing, just, just evading my docks. How are you, you alright? Yeah, yeah, good. Good. the harbour. There we go. So yeah, I don't know, don't know what's going on now, but he was on the phone. That Stephen was on the phone to someone. Probably that guy. Um, not sure. I think he's just walked out. And then there's. So you probably see the port police, all, unless they've got to come from Port Perry. So. Trains passing through at all. I was hoping I'm getting at least one. So I can get a shot of it from there as it, or there if it comes out. But there's no trains at all. So it's disappointing rather. But there you go. You win some, you lose some, eh?
Yeah, I don't, don't know why no one's done it when I've stopped before. Really, I thought Audit Ed would have done it. So he's based in Bristol, so he's a Bristolian. You think a Bristolian auditor would have done this place? So yeah, shout out to you Audit Ed. I saw your video of uh, Grand Police Headquarters. I know he's doing it. Here we go, we're going to get a train, guys. We're actually going to get a train. Coming through. Oh, this is what this is what I wanted. Yes. We get, we're getting the train, guys. We're getting the train. Getting the train coming through, guys. Yes, this is what we wanted. That's the train, come on. Which direction is it coming from? Come on train, I'm waiting for you. Is it coming? See you in a minute. Could be a quick car for me. Slow police control. Is this a police sign? Oh, this is police. I didn't notice that sign until now. Seems from behind me. Come on, train. Put your ages. Services vehicles coming through, don't they believe? Another Port Authority vehicle. Alright, come on, fucking his goblet. 693. You're right. Yeah, not bad, mate, yourself? I know. <laughs> yeah, this was, I, I should have brought a hood, really. <laughs> How are you? You okay? Yeah, you. Yeah, all good, you. 
Yeah, not too bad, man. Not too bad, man. What is it you're filming for? Oh, just the docks, really. Just saving out docks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're doing a college course, or are you just interested in the docks? Or? Just interested, really. Just at my own oh, interest. Right, yeah. What's your name, sir? Uh, I'd rather not say. That's okay. All right. You don't have to say. You don't want to. No, no. You want to ask any questions about it? Or? Yeah, I just wanted to find out a bit of history, if, that's a, if yeah. you know much about if, it. If you, if you go, obviously you're still filming me. If you go on the Bristol Port Company website, mm -hmm. and there's all the history on there, you can see probably in the Bristol City Centre. Oh. You might see the, um, the library. They might have some information as well. Yeah. Oh, nice so what, what's, what's, what's your business then? I've divulged a bit there. Oh, you... just like going around, just trying to just find out a bit of history about places, just visit them, seeing if I can rock up and find out any information really. You know, just having yeah. any well, I mean, of... they're, they're, they're very interested in, I don't know, helping and local people and all the rest of it. So yeah. if, you, if, you, if you want... To be honest, I was up and getting a shot of the, of the Port Police car as well. This yeah, Port Bristol like, Police. Like the Port Police car, yeah, that. There'll be somebody probably here in about maybe half an hour, an hour or so, something like that. Oh, do you think, yeah? Yeah, hopefully. Oh. I might get a shot of it. Yeah. Although, weather, I wish the weather was nicer. It was all right earlier, but it started to, uh, it started to pour down a bit, so uh, all right. it's not the best. Are you local then? Are you from Wales? Or? Yeah, yeah, you picked up on the accent a bit, did you? <laughs> no, it's all right, mate. It's sound, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're from Wales or somewhere, are you? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Have you come all the way from Wales to here? Or? Yeah, it's not too far, really, it's only, it's only down the road. When you, when you think about it, really, it's not too far. Now, do you get yeah. the trainer? Well, I made my own way down. Just, Friends. Yeah. Well, like, we can help if you're standing out here. I can, I can help if you. Yeah. If you got an email address? I can send you some stuff. Or... Yeah, if, uh, if I give you um, actually, if you follow, if you follow my my Twitter account, if, could you, have you got Twitter at all? Yeah, just, just, just come over here and I'll, I'll write your Twitter account down. Yeah, sure, sure I can come by you, it's uh, Port Property, isn't no, it? No, so, no, I'm allowing you in. You're allowing me I'm in. I appreciate today. it. I'm doing the security, but there's a... Wow. There'll be like a, a police officer here in a minute. Oh, wow. Yeah, because they're owned, they're owned by the Port Authority, aren't they? So they're, yeah, if you they're, wait they're here, outside so of, just uh, under that little shelter. Oh, perfect. And then I'll, I'll get you Thank you. There. there we go, going to load in. I've actually been invited into the into the port. Thank you. Am I okay here? Am I okay here? Or, uh, oh, there's a train over there. There's a train over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Be Thank careful. you. Yeah, you too. Have a lovely day, mate. Right? Thank you. Right. Let's find somewhere we can shelter. There's a few vehicles coming down. Oh, we actually got invited on to uh, Port Property. Um, obviously I gave my name, I'm not going to share that on the video. Just going to wait, um, I'll come back down in a bit. Oh, there's another train coming. There's loads of trains. I do like trains. <laughs> as well. So, uh, we're going to have a little walk back to the car now. We're going to come back in a bit. Um, we got the gates there. I can't believe you actually invited me on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a little walk away now. Uh, we'll come back in about 20 minutes, half an hour or so, uh, as he said, and then we'll uh, see what we can get that way, you know. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's all the, uh, got a load of excavators in there. Look at that. Molson used. got the uh the grain tower over there so we're going to come back in a bit see if we can get a port of bristol police car yeah there's the molson site
There we go, here's the back of the port with the camera this time, guys. Uh, got some better shots this way. Don't mind the interaction with them, to be honest. So I can find out a bit of information. Obviously they're police, aren't they? So, here's the port. You sort of see the green tower over there, look. Not properly. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the port police there, look. I don't know whether it's safe to go over the other side, see if we can get a shot from there. Got another vehicle coming out. That's the Port of Bristol Police there. So yeah, nothing's coming. Nothing's coming, we can cross over. Get a shot, get a shot from this angle. In there with him. They are, I think. Oh, as you can see, you can see the port down there, guys. So, what's that say? Those goods. Do sort of want a response from the port police to be honest. I wouldn't mind. Have we got, have we got anything coming? Should be alright. You can see you can see the port down out there, you can just about see the uh, the green power over there look. Looks quite run down. So uh I don't know. I don't know, guys. I got a shot down there. You can see more of it down there. You can see, look at that one. That's all Avermouth, Avermouth docks down there. Port of Bristol. With Port Bury and Avermouth is the Port of Bristol. Stop at police control, you can see. That's where we were. Oh. There it goes, because you can see the uh, height restrictions there, look. I want to get a closer look there, but I don't know. Is this, is this okay standing there, to be honest? Is this okay standing there? I don't know. It's technically, you can go up to the barriers, can't you? Because he invited me. He invited me to that point. Am I right or am I wrong? Did he invite me to stand there? He did invite me. I didn't catch his name either. I want to catch his name. I won't film his face. I just want to catch his name. He says Boero trains there. I didn't catch the guy's name. I want to catch his name. What was your name, fella? I gave you mine. What was your name, fella? Oh, where's the security man guy I was speaking to? Hello? Where was the security man I gone? I was speaking to him earlier. Hello? You're waking out, mate? 
Yeah, where was the security man gone that I was speaking to earlier? Is he gone, have he? Uh, yeah, no, he's just finished, yeah. Oh, uh, he's just finished his shift, have he? Yeah, bless him. Oh, so you're all of Bristol Police then? What, what, what makes you different to the uh, civilian police forces then? Uh, yeah, I can't answer anything. You can't answer I'm... anything? No. Do you have to identify you guys or? No. You don't have to identify? No, no, no. You got, you got a shoulder number though, haven't you? Yeah, okay. Yeah? I'm just I'm not trying to cause any trouble, I'm just like... I'm not trying to cause any trouble. Well, I just wanted to ask, and uh, I've just been trying to get, gather some information on the port, that's all. So. So I've just been trying to gather some information on the port and everything like that, a bit of history and about you guys as well, Port of Bristol Police. So, that's all, really. I guess. But yeah, you got some nice potted plants down there, and you can see the port over there. Look, one more shot of the port. And there, uh, basically, yeah. So I don't know whether the Port of Bristol Police have to identify or not. Really? I don't know. Not gonna get much out of this guy, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just interested in what what makes them that different really. Can't see a shoulder number there, can you? So uh Where's he gone? Where's he gone? It doesn't really say any port rules normally when you go up to come up to the entrance to a port. You've got a big sign saying the port bylaws or the port rules. It's got a few there, but it's not really got a lot of information. It's just saying, just giving a few guidelines. Normally you've got bylaws. And that's their emblem now. Get their emblem now. So yeah. I'm really, I'm really not sure, he's got to put this in <laughs> 20 more per hour zone, respect it. Police truck with the port police. Don't know what powers they've got or anything like that. I will research them. Port of Bristol. And see what information I can find. Yeah, it's only got to walk down there. Back towards the A4 road. And we will be back with you very shortly, guys. That has been um, the Avermouth docks. Uh, quite a combined video, really. I will probably put it all into one video, to be honest. Um, A4 
probably put it all into one video, guys, for you. The Ava Mouse. That would be Deputy Harbour Master and the police and the security man there. Who was very friendly compared to the Deputy Harbour Master. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one. Oh.